Because I'm trying to make sure it's not like over my voice or too loud. Let me readjust my chair. Okay, good. Because so normally everybody that is in a stream does not tell me if my music is too loud or if it sounds too loud. So I end up having to yell over it or not know instead of the end of the stream. Thanks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, always let me know if something's like too loud. It really holds me more than anything. Okay, I, I opened something on my browser and now it's like, whoops. All right, there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is loud though. Jesus Christ. All right, we're just destroying everything, apparently. I'll be surprised if I even get third place with this team. Because normally you don't want to carry, like, two supports. This is like one DPS down. I count Chin as a DPS. She's my own personal DPS. Right? Did I listen to me? Not that. Oh, I'm actually somewhat keeping up with them with this team. That's weird. I pass Hood with this team. Even though I'm probably going to be uploading this to YouTube just because I haven't uploaded like a guild adventure just because nothing really new has happened to be honest. So there hasn't really been a reason for me to upload it. Because every guild matter. So pretty much every guild adventure has just been the same. Now that we have a new character, I can actually upload. I'm waiting for them to release the last paladin because I need to start working on him. Now that I have everything ready for it. But I'm pretty sure when they release the last paladin, that's when Ultimate comes in for Poker Lords. So I guess they're giving everybody like time to get everything ready. What is everybody using? Still using Chin. Still using Chin. Still using Chin. <laughs> Everybody's still using their same team from last week. Yeah, which really sucks. Like, you want your games to, like, update, like, way more. You want them to be like, hey, I want something fresh and new. But you can't say this about Dragon Blaze. At least they update, like, every week. And not, like, hey, we're not going to upload. For, we're not going to, like, you know, put an update out for, like, two weeks or a whole month. Like, every month we update. You can at least give them that. Oh, dear God, they're passing me by so much. I'll never catch up. I'm surprised Ban is working in here. Could Yuki actually pass? I've. Let's see. They're fighting about oh, no. Rip Yuki. Yuki has lost second place. Ive is now catching up. Could Ive pass? Blast. Mm -hmm. 
I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, no, I is definitely not going to catch up. Yeah, right now, a lot of people are quitting Dragon Blaze and coming back when the Majesty is coming back. Or a lot of people are planning on quitting Dragon Blaze when the Majesties are added in. Seems like an ongoing thing when it comes to Dragon Blaze. A lot of people quit when there's like new things coming out on a green version. It happened last time when no Lords were announced. Yo, Blast, what's up? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? God, tired yawns. Stop it. Yeah, the sad part is Dragon Blaze. They can't really do a lot of interesting things. Like, mostly the game just keeps to itself and doesn't even try to collab with, like, others. I guess it's mostly just because they're busy trying to keep up with the Korean version. To the point where the global version can't even do anything interesting or exclusive to themselves. The Korean version doesn't even do anything, like, extremely interesting either. People just think the Korean version has like a lot more interesting things. But if you're, I guarantee if you're a Korean and you play Dragon Blaze for the longest, well, Korean Dragon Blaze for the longest, you will actually start feeling like the global version. Yeah, true, definitely in the art of the characters. It's definitely like hugely free to play, but it's grind to um, get more powerful. It's funny because their gotcha is definitely not even aimed towards like getting like well summoning for like stronger players, well characters. I mean, the max team points are pretty much around like. 6,000, so 60, 67,000, that's, that's the highest I've seen inside of a nice Chronicle, so you're getting there. Yeah, pretty much global players are just sitting there waiting for everything to release that the Korean version has, so we have like a head look into what they get. Then it's just the waiting game for us. Wait, three stars? What? Um, if you're using, if you're trying to 
I guess you're talking about like the enhancements, right? The three star Avid Dungeons are SRs. I guess that's what you're talking about. I was actually thinking about where SR is like for three or four purple stars. If that's what you're asking, then yes. You need five SRs for three and four purple stars. You need three double SRs, and on the sixth one, you need four double SR admin. I set him to where you, if you're like active in chat, he'll he'll pretty much just keep talking. Just in case I get like a really active chat, and he'll just say it now and then. Yeah, there's six purple stars. Remember you gotta get about the six stars? He has Wizbot, but he doesn't want to talk to him. Just imagine them actually putting in like a conversation like that. They're just talking back and forth. I'm actually surprised he switched back to Ar Archer. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Hood is past me. Even though I'm just playing with a silly team right now. <laughs> I mean, you could. <laughs> I mean, I figured it because um, archers are supposed to replace, like, encanter sooner or later with their bills. They're supposed to be taken over. Especially for like PvE content. Oh, close. You probably have a lot of the uh, relationship buffs worked out. Like, think about it. You probably have like a lot more relationship buffs than everybody else. Because relationship buffs definitely increase a lot. That's why I might start working back on Encanters. But not Encanters, um, Transcendent Characters. Oh my god, he has more to say. <laughs> really? My god, lag. Like... 
I am actually going to be working on Discord while we're doing this. I can still see you guys, though. Chat, though. I need to add... Hmm. How do I add things again? <laughs> oh, there it is. Literally just sitting here trying to figure out... Light ring with you. Okay, light. Whatever. Gonna make a uh, game suggestion tab right there. I was gonna do like a contest for like emotes for channel emotes, but then I thought about it. I don't really have a good price to give. <laughs> Maybe I'll come up with something. Right now, we don't really have like a lot of subs. We have to get partnered, and I need like. 75 average views just to get partnered, which is a really large goal that I have to work to. I mean, it's not like they're going to give me a pink good anyway. It, it does seem like they nerfed the hell out of the pig dungeon. Because usually we used to get a lot of things, like good things from it, but now it's kind of like, eh. Hold on, it's you missed. There we go. Let's see. What do I need to get partnered? Already got my streaming hours. Already got my days. The only final requirement I need to get partnered is 75 average views. Yeah, not happening. Not, not for like a long while. I mean, we're slowly, slowly getting up there. But right now, YouTube is like getting there way more. Somewhat. All we need is like. We actually need like 11 subs, don't we? No, 11 subs to 900. Hmm. Then we're gonna get like. Then we're gonna need like 100 more. That actually seems like something Death would actually say. <laughs> Alright, so... Done with all that. Let's try to... Stop doing that. We're going to keep track of this team's score for this week. The next week, we're going to try and switch it up a little bit. Wait, what's new for the update this week? I know it's like nothing like extremely magnificent. I just cannot remember what it was. If anybody actually remembers. Let me also look for games that we can all can play together. Because I, I honestly do want to play a lot more games with you guys. Let's see, let's see. I wish my time at Porta was a uh, multiplayer. I can play that. Yeah, I have Uno. <laughs> but then again, there'd be so much salt in Uno. The serpent is hot. 
Don't Starve Together could also be a game, be a game we all can play. Considering I always make servers on there. And I'm pretty sure Don't Starve Together does not take a lot to run. So that's honestly a game we could play together. So that's one. Oh, let's see, let's see, what else, what else? Oh, it doesn't? Uh huh. Feels bad. Feels very bad. I thought that was one. Alright, that one's off. Let's keep looking. I would love to go back to Bloody Good Time, but no, that's not a thing we can do. Let's go for... Death's laptop definitely does need help. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I'm trying to find something we all can play together. There must be something here. Well, actually, Dungeon Defenders is a thing we can all play together. I'm pretty sure it's like... Yeah, I think only Zan has it. That's why you used to play off her account. Hmm. Poor stuff. Yeah, I've golfed with friends. Oh, none of you guys have that. Yeah, that's true. Hollow actually said that I could play a couple of games off of his account because you could play PS4 games on PC if you have like PlayStation Plus or something like that. Something like that. Wait, what does quick screen? Wait, what is last tied public beta? I've never heard of this game, but I did not put it on my account. That's weird. Hold on, I need to look this up because I don't remember actually putting this on my account and it's my first time seeing Last Tide Gameplay. Oh, Dungeon Defender. Oh, it's a... Um, Chuck game. So I'm guessing Depp handed these out. Yeah, Depp probably handed these out. Aquatic Royale. It's gonna be weird. I'm gonna have to play that on stream tomorrow. Cause that game sounds weird. Yeah, it's it's from um, the Depth developers. 
it's another shark game where you play as a shark and play as divers and they versus each other. So last tide is pretty much dead. <laughs> Well, we could play Dungeon Defenders if everybody has it. What else? What else? What else? Not a lot of games I think your PC can run. what you're talking about. Okay. Now I get it. I'm pretty sure there's probably like a solution to it. Yeah, nice. Now you get someone doing better too. Someone. Then Death's gonna have to hand it on that PC soon. Whenever he gets a new one. And then I'm out of all the games we can play. And then I head into the VR games. Yeah, let's not. Oh, nobody has Force Light 2? What? Feels bad. <laughs> it's okay. Someday he'll he will upgrade. You know what's funny? You guys remember when I did like um, Dragon Spear gameplay on mobile? Somehow it's on PC, but yet it's behind a purchase of $15. Think about that. It's free on mobile, but costs on PC. Huh? Why? <laughs> Do you want me to pay for a game that has, like, microtransactions for a lot of the crap you guys do have? Really? Yeah, it's kind of dumb, though, <laughs> if you ask me. Yeah, anyway, I heard No Man's Sky is getting better. Seems like they're getting a lot of their fan base back. Oh really? That's kind of. I still count that as kind of dumb. I mean, if you already dedicated yourself to the free, go go ahead and continue doing the free. I mean, your money you're making money off your cosmetics. I wonder what changes No Man's Sky has. Because they kind of really screwed up when they first released. But then at the beginning, I think a lot of people were expecting too much of this. 
but now they're starting to get everything back together. Yes, I've been wanting to play We Happy Few for a, the longest now. And once I get that game, I am playing it on the stream no matter what. But I am kind of brokeish right now, so I can't. So, yeah. But I honestly do want to play it. It's a game I've been looking forward to ever since it was like announced inside of E3. Just because I love the whole choices system. Like, I don't even care if it has bugs, I just want to play it. Yeah, when they showed like the demo gameplay, I was just like, dude, this is definitely a game up my alley. It's kind of funny that they had released early access. I don't think they should have done that, personally. I think they should have just kept working on the game and you know, kind of avoided early access like beta because mostly it doesn't work out for like single player games and I kind of feel like they released a little bit early before they could fix their bugs but hmm <laughs> kind of on them though but then again I, I don't really mind bugs it's not really a terrible thing because some glitches or bugs are pretty funny. Some of them are more annoying. I want to fix some more annoying bugs than the funny ones. That's just me. Oh yeah, Subnautica is another game I plan on trying to get. I'm actually going to see if I can get a key from the dev too. I normally ask devs just in case, you know, just to save a little bit of money. Oh, whoop. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Go back. If they say no or, or at least tell me, um, they don't have anything in the mixer right now, then I'll be like, alright. I'll just save up money for it. Yeah, Dead Cells is actually really fun. It also has um, Twitch integration now, so you guys can basically sabotage me and stuff like that. <laughs> or help me out on a run. Which sooner or later I plan on playing. Okay. But yeah, Dead Cells is definitely worth the buy. Then I need to get Slay to Spiral. You know what? I just realized we completely passed a lot of time just talking about all this stuff. But trust me, if you get Dead Cells, you won't regret it. It's so much fun. Yeah, it definitely can't get frustrating. <laughs> There's so many roguelike games I want to play right now. Um, let's see if I can remember all of them. One of them is Dungreed. 
Another one is Wizard of Legend. Another one is Gungeon. Well, Enter the Gungeon, isn't that right? I think it's Enter the Gungeon. That's three. Then Slay the Spiral. Those are only four that I'm actually looking forward to trying out. Oh, well, actually, there's a VR one too that I have played on a channel that I need to look up again. I have a roguelike addiction that I need solved. <laughs> Oh, you do? I've seen a lot of people playing it this week. A lot of popular streamers have been playing it. Like Lyric, I think. Let's see what's in the free games. Maybe they have something good inside the, the multiplayer. Mist of the Dark. Oh, this is a horror game? Oh, it has guns. Oh, no. Most of those games do not work out unless they're like AAA. For some reason, indie devs can't do it right when it comes to horror games with guns. There's a lot of random indie games on Steam. And they don't look fun. They look random. Very, very random. Hmm. That's why I stopped going into the free section of Steam. Because they don't have anything worth playing. I'm surprised I'm literally nearly keeping up with these guys. I thought somebody would pass me by now. Yeah, there should. Should be. I need to try out some of these demo games. Because I think there's a demo for um, Shadow of War and Final Fantasy XV. I need to try out those two demos. Not sure how long they are, but at least want to get like a taste of the game before I was actually like thinking about throwing money to it. So I'm gonna try and play the games I have right now before I even think about throwing money at it, anything else. First we need to finish Prey. Which I'm thinking we're close, or probably halfway through. Considering I keep getting distracted and exploring. Then once we're done with Prey, we can try um, Assassin's Creed, the Black Flag one, because I still have not played it. Yeah, I saw that. I, I was wondering what type of mods they had. Because... Final Fantasy XV kind of reminds me a little bit of Dragon's Dogma, which makes me want to play Dragon's Dogma again. <laughs> and if I get the opportunity to finish all these games that I have planned, I'm probably going to be playing Dragon's Dogma again. I don't know how many times I can play that game or keep going back into it, but for some reason it keeps sucking me back in. They need to make another game like Dragon's Dogma. Or at least, I wish they would have made like a better modding tool for it, so everybody could make like different worlds and dungeons like that, like they did with um, Skyrim. Which Skyrim is another game I need to go back to try and complete. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely me. Never, never complete a lot of things. 
but we did complete Life is Strange. We can count that as a completion. We did that on the stream. Then we finished um, the awesome adventure of uh, Captain Spirit. Now we gotta wait for the new Life is Strange to come out. The only reason I didn't upload it, Life is Strange to the channel is just because of certain reasons. Apparently I forgot to download this the last episode. And which I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. Then it got inspired and was lost forever inside of Twitch VODs. So Yeah, I could no longer get it, unfortunately. So that sucks. The only online game that I have on Steam that I'm close to finishing all the achievements on is Warframe. Hold on, how many how many more achievements do I have out of all the ones I have done? Warframe, Warframe, Warframe. Go up, go up. Warframe, I have 149 out of the 175 achievements, so 80% achievements done. So yeah, I have a lot to do on that, if I was to go back to it. I was thinking about doing Warframe for like Warframe Wednesday like everybody else does, but I'm not sure. Oh, we're done? Jeez. You guys distracted me and two were done. Yay, um, gotta grab that. Let's do pig stand off the dun stand off the stream.